recent and deeply unsettling event, Real Madrid's shining star, Vinicius Jr., has courageously spoken out against the lack of action taken by La Liga president Javier Tebas in combating racism within the Spanish top flight. This powerful condemnation comes in the wake of a distressing incident during Real Madrid's clash with Valencia, where the 22-year-old winger faced abhorrent racist chants both before and during the game. In a moment of frustration, Vinicius Jr. found himself embroiled in a chaotic scuffle during added time, resulting in his forceful reaction against Hugo Duro. Astonishingly, despite seemingly being held in a headlock before retaliating, Vinicius Jr. was the sole player to be sent off, leaving the pitch with visible anguish and tears in his eyes as he gazed up towards the stands. Join us as we uncover the ramifications of this unsettling episode and explore the urgent need to confront and eradicate racism in the world of football. But before we jump in, and to ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Discovering Hub Sports. Also, click on the notification bell. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. In a scathing social media statement, Real Madrid's Vinicius Jr. exposed the distressing truth of his ongoing experience with racist abuse in Spanish football. Taking to Twitter, the Brazilian phenom lamented the sorry state of affairs, declaring that Spanish football has plummeted to a new nadir, once being the envy of Europe. He revealed that this was not an isolated incident, but rather a recurring pattern of racial discrimination he has faced throughout the season. Vinicius Jr. expressed his disappointment in the normalization of racism within La Liga, pointing fingers at the league, the federation, and even opposing teams for their alleged complicity in fostering an environment where such bigotry thrives. With a heavy heart, he conveyed his apologies to those Spaniards who reject this reality, but emphasized that, in Brazil and beyond, Spain's footballing reputation has become tarnished as a nation plagued by racism. Despite the disheartening circumstances, Vinicius Jr. affirmed his strength and unwavering resolve to confront and challenge racists, promising to fight this battle even from a distance. His words serve as a rallying cry for change and underline the urgent need for a transformative shift in the fight against racism, both within Spanish football and across the globe. In a swift response to Vinicius Jr.'s allegations, La Liga president Javier Tebas took to social media to counter the players' claims. Tebas wasted no time in asserting that the winger had been absent from multiple scheduled meetings intended to address the issue of racism in Spanish football. Pointing out Vinicius Jr.'s absence, Tebas highlighted that the player himself had requested these meetings, only to fail to show up on both occasions. With a firm tone, Tebas urged the player to gather accurate information before launching criticisms and insults at La Liga, emphasizing the importance of understanding each other's roles and the collaborative efforts that have been undertaken thus far. Tebas implied that Vinicius Jr. may have been swayed by external influences, urging him not to be manipulated and to ensure he has a comprehensive grasp of the ongoing work being done to combat racism. Fueled by intense frustration, Vinicius Jr. unleashed a scathing and impassioned response to Tebas, making it abundantly clear that he had reached his limit. In no uncertain terms, he dismissed Tebas' words as insufficient, declaring that the time for rhetoric had come to an end. Instead, he demanded concrete action against the racist fans who have tarnished the sport. Vinicius Jr. did not mince his words, directly criticizing Tebas for his failure to address the issue at hand and accusing him of diverting attention away from the real problem. He highlighted the impact of Tebas' actions, suggesting that they have shaken the image of the entire championship. The Brazilian winger challenged Tebas to examine the responses to his social media posts and hinted at a surprising revelation that awaited him. Vinicius Jr. sternly rebuked the La Liga president for choosing to remain silent, equating his silence with that of the racists themselves. He asserted that he was not interested in friendly conversations about racism but rather demanded tangible actions and punishments. In a final blow, Vinicius Jr. expressed his indifference towards hashtags, indicating that he sought real, substantive change rather than mere symbolic gestures. Throughout the course of the season, Vinicius Jr. has been subjected to appalling instances of racism from rival fans, casting a dark shadow over the beautiful game. 
One particularly high-profile incident occurred during a clash between Real Madrid and arch-rivals Atletico Madrid in September. Allegedly, Atletico supporters directed derogatory racial slurs at Vinicius Jr., referring to him as a monkey. Shockingly, a Spanish prosecutor later concluded that these vile chants did not qualify as a criminal offense since they lasted only a few seconds, dismissing the gravity of the situation. The Brazilian prodigy continued to face racial abuse from opposing fans throughout the season. Valladolid fans targeted him in January, followed by incidents involving Mallorca and Osasuna supporters the following month. The severity of these instances prompted La Liga to take action by filing complaints with the courts, while Atletico forward Alvaro Morata joined the chorus of voices demanding lifetime bans for those responsible. Rio Ferdinand, deeply disturbed by the distressing scenes witnessed at the Mestala, passionately called for immediate protection for Vinicius Jr., recognizing the urgency of the situation. Ferdinand's poignant question resonated with concern, bro, you need protecting, who is protecting at Vini Jr. in Spain? He highlighted the unjust outcome where the talented forward, despite enduring both physical aggression and racial abuse during the match, found himself on the receiving end of a red card. This shocking sequence of events left Ferdinand incredulous, prompting him to emphasize the distressing repetition of such incidents and the toll it takes on the young player. The former footballer saw pain, disgust, and a desperate need for support in Vinicius Jr.'s eyes, sharply criticizing the authorities for their lack of action and intervention. Ferdinand passionately called for unity among people to demand more from the governing bodies that oversee the game. He asserted that no one should have to endure such treatment, yet the authorities are failing to address it adequately. Highlighting the importance of a unified approach, Ferdinand warned against allowing these issues to be swept under the carpet once again. Brazilian football legend Ronaldo, who left an indelible mark on La Liga in the early 2000s, joined the ranks of those supporting Vinicius Jr., extending his solidarity in the battle against racism. Taking to social media, Ronaldo expressed his dismay at yet another instance of racism within La Liga, specifically referencing Vinicius Jr.'s ordeal. He questioned how long these incidents would persist, emphasizing that as long as there is impunity and complicity, racism will continue to thrive. Ronaldo found it unacceptable that referees, the federation, and authorities remain inactive in the face of such abhorrent behavior, and he condemned the fans who applaud this repugnant conduct. With a resolute tone, Ronaldo declared, enough. He assured Vinicius Jr. that he can count on him in the fight against racism, emphasizing that it is a collective battle they share. As the echoes of racial abuse reverberate through the stadiums, as players bear the weight of discrimination on their shoulders, as the beautiful game becomes tarnished by the ugliness of prejudice. It is time for a resounding outcry that reaches the heavens, that pierces through the walls of indifference, and demands justice for those who suffer. No longer can we stand idly by as talented athletes like Vinicius Jr. are targeted and tormented on the field. No longer can we accept empty promises and feeble gestures from those in positions of power. The time for complacency has passed. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.